Well, welcome back to Be A Pro episode 20-something. Is this 26, 27? I don't know, I've lost count. Anyway, regardless, we are year three. We are 3-5-2. and two. Not a hot start. We got the Detroit Red Wings, who are 5-3-0. and oh, And let's see if this game is worth jumping into or not. Boom, here we go. First period. It is a 2-1 lead for the Sabres. Nice. And 3-2. All right, yeah, let's hop into this one and see how it goes. They have a guy named McNaughton in net. I'm not sure if that's an actual prospect or just like sort of a generated one. Maybe it is. Yeah, it could just be a guy that I don't know about in another league, but he's actually decent. So I have no idea who it is, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, he almost got sniped on already, though. We are off to a blazing hot start here, as we usually are in the third periods. Richard Ponick behind the net to Olafsson. Gonna get it poked off. And now Zadina with it. Up the ice he comes. And he has it on his forehand. Stops up. And he will try to walk in. But defender's gonna get in the way of that one. Now Olafsson with it. Passes it in the middle. Just a dead giveaway to Lucas Raymond. Not too sure about that one. Larkin has it now. I tried to poke it off of him. But he got a pass off before I could make a connection. Richard Ponick in. Passes to Olafsson, who takes a shot, tries to get his own rebound, but that won't work out. What a pass! Why did he not one-tap that? Why, like, why not? I don't get it. I simply do not understand why he did not perform that one simple action. Thank you. Okay. I was gonna say, if you don't make that pass, I'm quitting this game. Dehan in over the line. Ooh, that's gonna find its way into the corner. Rasmus picks that up, and he passes cross ice to Cousins, who comes in front of the net, goes across now to Yammark. I am not sure what is going on with our team right now, but somehow, some way, that whole situation actually worked out. Now Skinner has it. Takes a shot that will find its way to our guy in front of the net, but not able to score. Now Clark has it behind the net. He's going to carry it up the ice. He is really carrying it up the ice. He's over the blue line. Goes for a pass in the middle that will not make it through, and now Cousins with it. Across to Skinner. Little toe drag action. Cousins goes for the shot. And that will not make it on net. What do you got, Voleno? Passes it to Jakob Vrana. Across to Radish, who takes a shot. That will be saved. And I will pass that out. I think that was actually one of the safer ones I've done in recent memory, at least. Because a lot of the ones I've been doing haven't really been the best. You know, they've been pretty risky. There's a guy in front of the net. Something like that. Even though I thought I learned my lesson in the playoffs, clearly that didn't happen. Oh, good try, Cousins. I was trying to think. So McNaughton actually sounded familiar, but I'm pretty sure that's just Cal Naughton Jr. from Talladega Knight, so I take it back. I'm pretty sure that is exactly what I was thinking of. Nice goal! Fire me vertical. That's huge panic. Takes a shot on that, picks up his own rebound, and that will be another goal for the Sabres. I think we're up by two now, is it? Uh... Were we up by one already? Or were we already up by two? I don't even remember. I can't <laughs> recall what the score was. Oh, wow. We're up by three. All right. That is very decent. Oh, actually, that's right. Because we were up by one. And then we scored two now in this third period. Okay. That checks out. Sorry. I'm a little crazy. Now we've scored again. McNaughton not having himself a good third period. That is for sure. These poor Red Wings are just getting absolutely picked apart right now. <laughs> Holy. We are having an amazing third period so far. And I'm hoping that I can play solid back here as well. I'm assuming I'll get some shots sooner or later. And that might just be sooner. Pass over to Raymond. That will be stopped. Oh, I probably should have smothered that. But for some reason, didn't register. Olafson passes to Ponick, I think that was. And finds his way back to him after he gets hit. And Olafson will also get hit. Finds Reinhardt down low, though. And we have a power play now. So it is 6-2. We have a power play. Things absolutely looking good for the Sabres right now in this matchup, at least. McIsaac. Oh, this is shorthanded, too. They really want to score goals. They're not even dumping it down the ice. Like, screw this. Let's carry it and try to score shorthanded. I guess when the score is 6-2, you know. But, yeah. Let's see if they continue to do that. Or if it was just one rush and they're going to start sending it down the ice from now on. Valeno loses it. Panic down low to Skinner. Risto at the point. He's going to get hit. Valeno loses the battle to Panic, though, so we still have it. And nope, McIsaac steals it. And they're carrying it down the ice again. Over to Hartman. He stops up. Passes down low. That will be stopped by Tino. And Buffalo. Not a whole lot of chances so far on this power play. There's one. Nice shot. And I absolutely love this goaltender because that is the second time now that he has had it in his mitten and he played it out. 
What a great guy. Moritz has it in the middle. He is getting swarmed. There's three Buffalo players. And if he got that shot off, I would have been very impressed because <laughs> we were absolutely swarming him. 7.50 to go. And a four-goal lead for the Sabres. Yeah, this one was just an explosive third-period performance. We do have a penalty coming up here. But I'm actually kind of excited. Might get some shots here. Hopefully, I make some saves as well. Will Larkin win the draw or will Cousins take it home? Let's find out. Drop the puck, ref. Oh, Cousins, let's go. And Risto sends it down the ice. Sadina. Oh, that's a scary one, actually. I was not ready for that at all. But luckily, the defenseman was there to bail me out. So thank you for that, sir. <laughs> oh, no way. McNaughton just trapped his own player behind him. And Cousins was able to go in. Okay, never mind. Well, he did give it right to them, to be fair. But then the defense. Oh, that's a bad goal. That is not a good goal whatsoever. 7-2. to two. What happened? McNaughton is still in too. Like maybe he's their backup and their starter got injured so they literally cannot <laughs> do anything except for keep him in. Maybe he's a Zamboni driver. Maybe both of those guys got injured. Um, should we take another penalty? Yep. Five on three. Oh, what a save in the mid. Oh, I, I, I wanted to pass it. I really did. But I refrained. Took everything within me. But I, I stopped myself. Sprong goes in the middle to Valeno. Tries to take a shot. Defense once again going to block that. I feel like these teams have to learn eventually. Like, hey, Buffalo's blocking a whole lot of shots. Maybe we should change it up a little bit, you know? But nope, they seem to continue to try the same things. And it's not working. So, yeah, good for them, I guess. There it is again. They tried it. Did not succeed. Oh, no. I take it back. We are coming up on the two-minute warning here. That's another save on Sprong. Valeno... Gets pinned along the boards. And Cousins going to win the battle. Come out with it from behind the net. Pass it to Lindholm. And Burns with it now to panic. Up the ice and into the Red Wings zone. Almost has it taken off of him. But manages to get it back. Yeah, this just turned into an absolute blowout in the third period. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm pretty sure it was 3-2 coming into this. And now it is 7-2. So that's a thing. Can I get there? No, I can't. Get back in the net, though, before they pick it up and get an easy goal somehow. Strong with it. Gets it to Raymond, but the defense of the Sabres going to nudge him away. Now we are headed the other way. 15 seconds to go. Strong coming in. This could be the Red Wings' last chance here. Goes take a shot. Defense not going to let it happen. And that will do it, I think. It's going to be a 7-2 victory. A pretty solid performance. Oh, my word. That would have been a nice goal. Pretty solid performance from Tino as well. So that could possibly be one of the three stars, depending. Ah, they only had 21 shots. Never mind. I would say unlikely, considering we had seven goals. Yeah, the odds are definitely not in my favor. If anything, maybe third star. But I wasn't. So, yeah, it's pretty safe to say no. Time to take a look at what happened Let's take a look. As we check in on some of the scores. Kenny Hoopla. Had an cool name. Collision with the Sabres. Mm -hmm. Buffalo plays pad the stat night with a strong offensive performance. Yeah, we did. The Sharks were on the road to take on the Lightning. 8, 2, and 1. Their opponents with a big offense. Who the heck is on their team? All right, well, let's start simulating some games, I suppose. Boom. Let's okay. I kind of want to jump into this one. The Sharks were hoping and then we could just sim six in a row. Against the Canadians. Yeah, let's do it. All right, James, enough. The only X-Factor player they have is Pavel Frolov, but he is stacked. <laughs> He's got abilities and an X-Factor. 89 overall, but this team is doing quite well right now. We are up one nothing, I think it was. Yeah, so this is going to be a huge third period. I like the Kraken jerseys, honestly. I don't know if anyone else... Well, I'm sure some people like them. I'm not sure if a lot of people or the majority share that opinion, but I'm... A fan. And the logo has kind of grown on me as well. I gotta admit. I didn't really like it at first. I thought they could have did more. But I'm starting to like the simplicity of it. Yes! Let's go! Olafson gonna rip one. Goes off Tendy's mitt and finds its way in the net. And now we have an insurance marker. I know that's your guys' favorite saying. Pass. And he is just gonna send it. Yep. Goalie. Not in the best position. Also, what are those pads, bud? What's going on there? Here comes Frolov, X-Factor boy. Well, I guess that's, um, that, that explains a lot, actually. Well, thankfully, we scored, and we still have the lead. <laughs> I would appreciate if we scored again and gave ourselves another insurance marker. That'd be phenomenal. 
because I am not super ready to have this game tied up. I'm going to be honest. And the way I'm playing right now, I think there's a good chance that happens if they even get a single shot off. Eberly. Oh, that was not even a good shot and somehow still almost found its way through. If they score here, I'm going to be fuming. I'm literally never... I'm removing the right R2, I guess it would be, from my controller. I'm taking it off. Johnson has it and he's going to lose it to the Buffalo Sabres defense. Let's get her up to Yamar. Here we go, boys. Back the other way. In over the line. Yeah, muscle that hit. Oh, muscle that hit. He tried, but Fowler will ultimately win that battle. Here comes Jared McCann over the line. He's going to stop up. Spin around. Oh, puts the puck deep, but gets hit pretty hard while doing it. And now the Sabres in, in the Kraken end. I feel like I'm not making any sense right now, and it's starting to piss me off. That's a save. Oh, it almost wasn't a save. Holy crap, that was scary. That should have been the easiest save of my life and somehow turned into, like, this most dramatic event that could have possibly ensued from that shot. Why? That should have been such a simple save. Frolov back at it again to Sod. That's going to be a big blocker save, if I do say so myself. Panic. Oh, got it out. That's all that matters. All right, we're about halfway through this third period now. Score is 2-1. to one, And it has been a very even matchup, I must say. So it's pretty on par with the simulation where it was 1-0. You know, it was pretty even in that regard. And now in the actual game here, it's also quite even. So let's see what happens. Oh, goalie tried to make a dramatic save there. And it somehow worked out. But the Kraken are back the other way. Burns picks it up. Goes for a pass right in front of the net to Lindholm. Come on, Lindholm. Get it out. What are you doing? Don't mess around with it. Okay, luckily 20 gave up and just kept skating away. He got... Really lucky there. Panic goes for a pass. Flurry gonna pick it off. That is a massive defensive play. Because that would have been a goal. Like, very high odds, I would say. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? I do not like this. I also am not happy with how far right I slid right there. That was horrendous. Come on, Burns. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do? Nice. Finds its way to Yamark, who's gonna get nudged. But Cousins will be there in his relief. Dahlin has it on the boards in the middle to Yanmark. He's going to skate, backs up the defender a bit, takes a shot that is kicked aside. And now Flurry has it. Going to get crunched against the boards. A battle ensues now. And it looks like the Sabres come out on top. But unfortunately, the puck does find its way to the Kraken, who are now coming back the other way. Janssen goes for a shot that will be stopped. And Dahlin there for the rebound. Thank you. McCann has it. And that will find its way to the corner. He goes for... I don't know. I, I suck. <laughs> I am brutal. Man, oh man. That was also unlucky, though. Because he passed in the middle. And he didn't even get a shot off, honestly. It kind of just bounced off of something. Well, we're tied. Four minutes to go. Please, Sabres. Can we get another one? <laughs> I'm basically like the NHL simulation engine. I'm just so streaky. I'll do really good. And then I'll just start doing awful. And it's like consistently good and then consistently bad. And I don't know when it changes. It just kind of has a switch that no one knows about. <laughs> Not even me. Here's Frolov again. He's in over the line. Passes in the middle. That will be stopped. That was scary as well. Oh, if they got the lead there, I would have been very upset. But anyway, minute and a half to go here. And it's a tie game, unfortunately. Are we going to be seeing... Another overtime here. I think there... Okay, there was an injury there. Yeah, the guy looked like he was taking pretty long to get up. I don't know who it was, but he... Oh, it's Saad, I guess. Oh, never mind. Saad's going to the box, I guess, for instigating, maybe. Uh, roughing. Yeah. Who got hurt, though? Who was it that got destroyed against the boards? Oh, never mind. It cancels out. Okay. Well, Dolan. Dolan? Dolan? Dolan. Made a huge hit. Um, And yeah, now we are 4-on-4 four four with a minute to go. Let's go, Reinhardt. Do it! I don't want to go to overtime. I'm so fine with not going to overtime. It's insane. 24.8 to go. Face off in the Kraken zone. Let's see if the Sabres can get one here before the period ends. A buzzer beater, if you will. Come on, we need a big draw win. Do it. Frolov is in for them, though. Oh, that's rough. Flurry now has it. Gets it to McCann. And he is coming up the ice. McCann across. Goes for a deke. Takes a shot that will miss the net, thankfully. And Olafson, no. Oh, dude. That would have been awful. 
Don't you dare cough it up in front of the net. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get the final chance here, if at all. No, of course not, because what does that puck pick up? That was awful. Three on three, here we go. This is going to be back and forth action. Um, I don't know if we've had... We definitely have not had 15 shots yet, but again, I don't know if it includes the simulation or not. Nah. If it does, then that's good. If it doesn't, then we're probably never even going to get to use this one. So, I'm hoping it does include the simulation. But regardless, let's see how we can do in this game here. Risto has it, and he's carrying it up the ice. Big back check there from the Kraken player. Holy crap, he was working real hard to get back. Who is it? Larson. Let's trade for that guy. Holy, the effort he puts in. That's awesome. Everly has it in the middle now. He goes for a weak backhand. And that will not make it through. Now Risto with it. Gets it to Reinhardt. Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, it's four on four, I guess, because of the penalty. Nice try. That was a close one. All right, Frolov. This is the guy that sniped on... It's literally frozen. The penalty clock thing is frozen on my scoreboard. I'm assuming you guys can see that because it's right in the middle of the screen at the bottom there. So don't know why you wouldn't be able to see it. But yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it's just there to let you know it's four on four, I guess. That's the only explanation I could think of. Fowler has it in over the blue line. Has it poked off. But he will chase it down and get back to it. Yanmark in to support the defense. And now the Sabres in possession. 2.15 to go here in this overtime period. That looked like it had potential. But did not go. Yanmark now loses it to Fowler. And here come the Kraken. Under two minutes. Two minute warning has arrived. And it's going to go in the middle. That will just miss the net. Two players there. The Kraken guys sort of won that battle, I guess you could say. And now it finds its way behind the net. Ristolainen with it. And he is going to lose it to Fowler, who seems to be winning a whole lot of battles here. Nice try from the Kraken defender. But that's blocked. As is usual with shots for some reason. Oh! Nice try. That would have been a nice goal too. And we have an offside. No. Wait. Yes. I think. Did we have the penalty or the power play? I'm pretty sure we have the power. Oh, it's Frolov too. He's going to the bin. All right. Come on, boys. Four on three. And there is a minute 19 to go. So basically, run the power play for the rest of this overtime period. Let's get it done. That's not a good way to start. They win the draw. Appleton tries to get it down the ice, I think. But our player was not letting him get it off. Alexiak now pinned behind. And Middlestat with it. He's going to walk out. Why did you do that? I'm just curious on your whole rationale there. McCann sends it down the ice. I'm going to try to get there for that, at least to get some team play. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. And let's make a non-risky pass. I was going to do it. I was holding it for so long. And then my brain last second was like, why? Why do I do this to myself? And I made the executive decision to not make the risky pass. Let's go. Let's go. That's a huge goal. Olafson going to snipe it. And that gives us the OTW over the Kraken, who had a pretty solid record, I must say. How many shots did they end up with? They had 28. Okay, so we actually played good. So did their goal. It was, you know, just a pretty solid performance all around. But a 3-2 win after I let in two goals in the third period that I guess weren't the best. So never mind. I didn't really play well. But thankfully, simulation me made up for that. Let's take a look. Let's do it, James. Yeah. Buffalo posts the overtime winner late. And they get the two points. We did do that. The He's not lying again. Were on the road. This man Take speaks the truth. Alright. Washington Capitals. 5-4-1. Five, we are 5-5-2. Five, five, and two. We need to sim six now games now. No, James. Let's not. I'm going to have to keep doing that. Alright. First period. That's rough. Second period. Okay. Third period. Hmm. So close. The Golden Knights, 8-5-0. and oh, They are 8th in the league. We are 5-6-2. That's bad. All right, here we go. First period. That's all right. Second period. I'll take that. They have 24 shots to R8. What is going on? And 2-2. Two, two. Overtime. Pardon me. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to ruin it. And it doesn't matter because we got scored on anyway. Okay. Finally, Sorokin starting one. It's against the 10-3-0 Panthers. I'm so... I think he actually won. Good for him. All right, we are 6-6-3. Six, six, and three. It looks like we actually have the option to speak to the GM again. But I don't think they'll let me go regardless, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Um, this season's not exactly going stupendous so far. 7-7-3. Seven, seven, and three. Carolina up next. What do you want from me, Barry? Mr. Coachman? What's going on? No, you can't stop a beach ball. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Classic. Let's go with the star. Screw you. I am a rebel. You're going to paint me as a rebel? I'll be a damn rebel. All right, whatever. 
Stop with all of this. Just let me go out on the ice and do what I can do, which is not much. How many games have I simulated? I've kind of lost track. I don't remember. I think I've only done two, but maybe I've done more. Okay, well, anyway, let's say that this is the third one. Oh, man, we are just not good this year. I don't know what happened, but we fell off miserably. All right, well, Philly up next. They are 4-9-1, last in the league. If we lose this one, then we are... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not looking promising for playoffs this year. Yeah, get out of here, coach. I did what I could, all right? The last place flyers. Here we go. 4-9-1. Let's go ahead and boom. Oh, man. Okay, all right. Thank you. My stats are still horrendous, but I don't care. We won a game. That's all that matters to me. I think that was sim game number four. Uh, it could have been more. It could have been less. I don't remember. But we're just going to do two more from here and see what happens. Eight, eight, and three. Nine, eight, and three. We beat the Kraken again. We have the Canucks here who are 12, six, and one. So they are doing solid. Sixth in the league. Ten spots up from us. One, one, three, two, and five, three. Okay. Wowza. We are nine, nine, and three. Just can't seem to separate. Let's sim to the next game. Are we in against the Oilers? This will be our final sim one. We are, so let's do it. They are 10-9-2. We are 9-9-3, so very close to one another. All right, Victor Rask absolutely bullying me right now. 2-1 and 3-2. They had 39 shots, though, so I did not play super bad. 888 save percentage, 333 GAA. Oh, I don't know what's going on this year, guys. That playoff run clearly just killed us as a whole because we are miserable now. And he doesn't even have a stick. I remember this happened when I was doing the full Be a Pro simulation. All right. Yeah, let's, let's, I guess, post a shutout. Sure, that's easy to do, right? Yeah, why don't you give me a hard, hard task, Jack? Why do you give me something so easy? All right. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't simulate this one. They are 6, 11, and 0. Now they are 32nd. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. Um, it's not going great. It is not going great. I can request a trade. I'm assuming they would reject it again. But here are the lines. Um, they've changed a little bit. Defense. I think that's pretty much the same. I didn't even want to check the lines. I mostly wanted to check stats. But I went in, so I committed. Uh, 25 points for Olafson. He's doing well in 22 games. Eichel's played 20, and he has 23. So he's doing very splendid as well. Uh, Reinhardt, 22 games, 18 points. Cousins, 14 points. Panic, 13. All right. And is Sorokin doing better now? Yep. 901 and 291. And then 888, 333. Tino Manny, not having a good year. Well, let me know, guys. If you want me to request a trade, we can do it. But, yeah, this is our current status. 9, 10, and 3. We are 6, 8, and 2 in our appearances in the net. 888, as I mentioned. 333. I don't know what to tell you. But it has not been a great start so far. We also, though, are not doing awful. Like, 9, 10, and 3, that's very redeemable. Once again, a few more wins, and we're right back up there. But it's going to take a few more wins to get there, which we seem to be struggling with. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.